had a lot of loves. I'm not going to give names. Everyone has been a different fail and a different pain. My experiences with loves? A collection of action figures, neatly aligned on a shelf, collect them all. A high school girlfriend. Your teenage dream. She's in the closet, but isn't everyone that age? Fumbling, hot and heavy, halted by parental footsteps. No one knows what they're doing, but surely we'll live in this state forever. We don't. Next, next, the requisite older bad boy psychopath. She knows. Uh -huh. Introduces me to every drug I've ever done. <clears throat> so one time, living in a car together, a car, a thousand miles from home, I call him a faggot. He quits talking to me for three fucking days, just stares. So much physical and emotional violence it takes rehab to get away from him long enough for bruises to heal. My first and only pathetic Stand by your man, love. Meet someone in rehab with the biggest dick I've ever seen. I'm Marriott. <laughs> Mere footnote. First real adult love. Newly sober self meets sweet, playful, kind, deadhead 17 years my senior. Lives in a VW bus. Acoustic guitar, hippie tattoos, ain't it dreamy? Shack up for a long time. Learned to cook, hold a real job. Aged 19 to 23, I'm a stepmom. But made a September relationships. I grow up, we grow apart. Like the summer of love, he devolves from peace and love to hard drugs. So I fuck around on that man. <laughs> Uh, and fall into obsessive, all-consuming love, objectified, fetishized, passionate, brief affair. That old jazz standard you go to my head plays in the background. Day after he dumps me, I hear the stranger song for the first time. It turns out Leonard Cohen has been reading my diary. <laughs> I feel hollowed out. It hurts. Still haven't stopped pining. Never tell anyone this. Your discretion is appreciated. I moved to New York because I know he'll approve once it gets back to him. Been single a couple of years when I meet the most recent ex. <clears throat> I'm thinking I have all my baggage sorted out. Mid 20s, you're sure about stuff. You know yourself now. And this relationship will magically iron out all the rough edges in your personality, right? It's that kind of love. Where you're sure sure, right? Wrong. Goes down in flames. Turns out everything I thought I knew about myself was wrong. The wreckage is severe. Because I have nothing left, I'm forced to scour the ashes locate my foundation, and build an entirely new brand of self-reliance. Two years pass, and okay, I'm in love again, whatever, it's nice. But more than that, I'm committed to myself, my career, my city, my life, what I want, me. This may be taking a turn for the tweet, but the question is what the hell is love, so what did you expect? The last line of the old man's bit says he's not sure how much love was ever returned. Young, fucked up kid, can't live in his own skin, lives in a bottle in somebody's cunt till it causes so much chaos he's forced to take a look at himself. We've all seen this movie before. Men are so goddamn preoccupied with something all the time. Beer, the woman that left him. Some kind of intellectual pursuit, their art, whatever the fuck that is. Women are relegated to supporting players in their fantasy. Bullshit. They don't see all the love that surrounds them and is exchanged. 
man or woman, it's the same story. It's how we take care of each other that matters. Whether we're bumping uglies or not, that's what the hell love is.